And why do we have to meditate? Why human beings need to practice meditation? Can we just not practice it? What's the benefit of doing this? So this question to me is quite deep, okay? Because meditation is about training the mind to be still. We're talking about the refined object. The mind is the refined element. We don't know where the mind is. We've never seen our own mind. But we are about to train our mind to be still. So we should know the nature of the mind. Once we understand the nature of the mind, then we can work around to find way that allow our mind to stay still. So this is the nature of the mind mentioned in uh, several places in the Buddhist text. Okay, let's take a look. The mind is like a fish. Okay, when you throw the fish on the dry land, okay, the fish is not happy. <laughs> it will struggling and wants to go back to the water. Okay, so its mind is agitated. The mind is difficult to control. Do you agree? It's swift. It's light. It moves. Okay, wherever it wants to go, it moves. It is good to tame the mind, for a well-tamed mind brings happiness. I see this sentence very often. The mind needs to be trained. So if you want to be happy, you need to train your mind. And what is the tool that we can train our mind? Besides meditation, can you name one? The bottom line is the, for, for us as a human being to be happy, the mind needs to be trained. And second, you know, uh, uh, Sutra mentioned that let the discerning man guard the mind, so the mind needs to be guarded. The mind is hard to see, difficult to detect, extremely certain, very refined. Okay? It fitting where, whatever it will, okay? and see it end up the same sentence. A guard mind brings happiness. To uh, summarize, this is the nature of the mind. Okay, <laughs> you look, you think of the mind as a monkey. Okay, really naughty mind. Okay, the monkey doesn't like to stay still. Okay, it's always jump from one tree to another. If you want to steal the monkey, what would you do? What kind of approach that you would be that you will be using to steal the monkey? Number one, the mind is hard to see. We cannot see. Have you seen your own mind? <laughs> Not yet. Okay, <laughs> you're on your way. Don't stop practice meditation. Difficult to detect. We don't know where it is. Sometimes it think of one thing, not finish yet, move to another thinking. It's swift, okay? Unsteady. Never stay still. And excitable, okay? All the time. Difficult to control. Stop thinking. I want to meditate. I want to calm the mind. The more you tell the mind to stop thinking, the more the mind will not stop thinking. <laughs> Difficult to control. Okay, it like to think, and it think very fast. Not only that, it thinks very far. You from Switzerland, you can think of your bedroom in Switzerland in just a second. You might already there back back home. Okay, you you from Spain, Barcelona. All the all the sudden, you might you sit here, you might already back home. It think fast, it think far. Okay, extremely sudden. Very refined. And most importantly, okay, this information, take it with you. The good news is the mind can think of one thing at a time. The mind can think of one thing at a time. Can you laugh and cry at the same time? Can you feel happy and all of a sudden, in that happiness, sadness come and you start crying? If you can do that, I suggest you to meet with a doctor. <laughs> okay? Because you cannot. Normal human being, the mind can only think of one thing at a time. See? What have you learned from here, from this sentence? I think is, this is very really powerful. That means when you are sad, sadness takes control of your mind. You cannot be happy. If person allow oneself to sing deeper into that sadness, that crowded mind, okay, bad thing can happen. So instead of allowing the mind to stay in the sadness, you reject that thinking, you input the new thinking, which is something that you feel good. 
you may think of the merit you may think of ordination you may think of your mom your dad your loved one someone who love you if somebody doesn't love you no more it's okay you may hurt it's okay but don't do something you know bad like killing yourself or committing suicide so if sadness is there happiness cannot go in so if happiness is there sadness cannot come in so with this fact i think it's very helpful in many situations and one thing that i found in the buddhist text okay the technique that many monks use the word that they use they call piti piti is joy okay joy is the foundation of having good meditation hmm. i said wow this is interesting oh that means when i start meditate and i don't know what to think today maybe a lot of things happen before i come to this meditation room so i can recall my happy feeling that happened this morning that happened yesterday that happened last month or that happened last year it doesn't matter pick one situation in your life that you feel happy about it so bring joy to your mind before you meditate sometimes you share loving kindness let's say you get angry at someone and you you cannot meditate you may start off with sharing loving kindness you know, think of the good thing that that person did to you perhaps it help you to help your mind to relax and then you can continue meditate okay so keep your mind joyful